Utamaduni ambaye imeshika sana kwa heria hii ya silale ni mambo ya tohara. Imefanya watoto wasichana wasiende shule. Mtoto tu akisaliwa na chulikana kwamba ni mtoto msichana. Akifikisha ile umri wa mwaka na mpili mpaka mwaka na ine. Sasa wanatairi wana, wana msichana. Ndiyo wapate mahali. Mfulana ni kwamba wakati akifikisha umri wa mwaka nane, mwaka kumi, wanafunza mambi ya shaba. Sasa huo mtoto akiwa mkubwa, huyo ako ready, anaesa enda at rate. Akifikisha hiyo 15 years, mfulana. Lasima aende hii mambi ya stages ya process ya sapana, ili hakuweka dongo. Na hiyo sasa ndio imenyima mtoto mfulana, aende shule. Alafu wa mama wametumika sana kutengeneza mambi ya brew. Kwa sababu awajube sharangine. Itikadi ngini ambayo imefanya watu wetu sana wa mama kumia domestic violence. Iyo sana sana iku. Awauni mama kama ni mutu ya maana. Uh, the government uh, in collaboration with World Vision and other uh, stakeholders have launched a uh, child protection in emergency uh, response uh, guideline. It's a framework that will help to address some of the issues affecting children in emergencies, whether they are emergencies, man-made or natural emergencies. So it became important for us to implement the sea change conversations where we have community change dialogues and empowered worldview uh, model in the communities in Akwichatis. World Vision walifika sihimui ya silali. Kubalini identify kama one of the facilitators. Sisi tukapelekwa training. Tukafunzwa. Mobilization, capacity building. Nikakuja kueleza watu wetu. Kwa sababu nilipewa hile knowledge. Na nikaona wamelewa. Watu wa Kenya Big Dream walikuja hapa sehemu za kuchatisi. Tukafunzwa jinsi ya kubadilika. Ya kwamba tuachane na mambo na ukeketaji na tuachane na mambo ya kuweka udongo kwa kichwa. Na hapo ndipo tukajifunza ya kwamba mtoto msichana akitairiwa itakuwa ni shida wakati atakuwa mkubwa aende ati aende aoleke wakati anajifungua hiyo ni operation kwanza. Ya pili anaweza bleed mpaka akufe. So mimi singeonelea kwamba mtoto wangu msichana aende kuoleka kwa sababu nimeona iko na madhara mingi sana Wakana na si chenye tumepata hawa warriors na hawa warriors squeeze awaendi waliacha ile itikadi ama ile utamaduni ya kwenda alafu wakaweka distant na wale wenzao kuna wengine wamefungua biashara kuna wengine hata wamenunua motorbikes Iyo maisha ya kuwa warrior, kuwa besha rambaya kwa sababu ya hindu kifika huko, lasima kuna mtu atakufa hapo. Wakati nilingia siege, nikafunzwa jinsi ya kukaa kwa maisha, yani, ku, yani ile unayesa pata mapato. Sasa kwa rektambu unafikiria kitu ya kufanya, nikapata pesa ya kununua, nikanunua pikipiki. Wakati nilinua ya pikipiki, ili nisaidia kwa njia mingi sana. Sana shukuru sana siche kwa sababu lilibadilisha tena mzuri sana. Kwa sababu ile biashara nilikuwa nafanya haikunisaidia na ndo nikaona ya kwamba nitoke hoteli nilikuwa nafanya niende nitafute at least nifanye cosmetic and salon. Yenye saizi inanisukuma imenipeleka mbali. Sasa hiyo nilisaidia na ikanilishia watoto wangu ndo nikajua hata kwamba kununua at least nikapata chance hata ya kupata sabuni ya kuwashia watoto, nikapata chance ya kulipa mtihani ya shule. Nikapata chance ya kulipa kutafuta kununua kitabu. During the implementation of sea change, we faced some challenges within the community, language barrier. But we employed an, an alternative way of getting the local people who we are calling the trainers of trainees. We trained them so that they can be with the community. Sasa ilikuwa ni ngumu. Culture ya mpokotu ataki mama asimame mbele yao. Iyo ndiyo the biggest challenge nye yuko hapa. Lakini wakati tuliendelea tu pole pole process, utukawana wamepata, wamepata kujua. 
uzuri. Na siku hizi tunasalimiana na Hawa. Alabo wameanza kukubali wa mama. Sasa kuna mabadiliko kubwa sana kwa Sitchen. Maana sasa hata una, kuna msikizano kwa boma. Baba na mama wamesikizana mpaka hata watoto wanafurahia. Unaona hata watoto sasa wako na afya nzuri kwa sababu nini? Watu baba na mama wamesikizana. Hata utapata mama akitoka hapa Sitchen tukimaliza E, masomo yetu sa sita sa saba mama anaenda kununua chakula na anakimbia nyumbani anaenda kupikia watoto chakula so watoto wamekuwa na afya mzuri the key lessons we have learned from implementing the Kenya big dream one is that communities actually can be responsible for their transformation that is one of the lessons uh, through programs like the community change model the other lesson we have learned is that when we give knowledge to communities about these issues of children and they are able to embrace them and actually use that knowledge, then the community transformed. Ntakapo barikiwa na hiyo kupata mtoto, kipendelea mtoto yangu, asome tu. Yani siwezi kubalia mtoto yangu waingie katika hiyo harakati ya kuhiba tena. Tunapeana watoto wa siana ushule, Na mimi ni mmoja wao ambaye nimepeana watoto shule watoto wangu wako shule waende wasome wanilete fa, baadaye faida. We are looking at one day Kenya Big Dream may phase out. But the project all the knowledge the capacity building we have done to this community it will remain. So we are looking forward to partner with the community to partner with the government and also other stakeholders to ensure that we, we do sustainability for the project we are doing. ningependa kuambia World Vision kwamba Mungu awabariki kwa hiyo moyo wa kusaidia watu